This is a Sunbender Mark 1.5. It has two Mullard OC72s in it. And this is one of the best fuzz pedals I've ever played. Like, this thing just sings. Also, you can do a bit more with it than, like, a fuzz face. Like, if you turn the fuzz knob down, especially messing with the bias, you can get some drive tones out of it that don't sound, like, muddy and gross. Also, with the bias at noon, um, right there about is unity gain. So you can also get some boost out of this compared to some other fuzz pedals. And also, when you turn your guitar's volume down, it's more of a gradual decrease in gain instead of some pedals. If you turn your volume on your guitar down, it just cleans up right away. This thing stays kind of gritty. I'm playing a Strat HSS, and it's going into a Hot Rod Deluxe. And here's the humbucker in the bridge. single coil in the neck. I'll show you some volume roll off now. single coil in the neck. Turn the bias up a little bit. It boosts the volume a little bit when you turn the bias up, but I like it right around there. compare the Sunbender to this <clears throat> Acid Fuzz Italian because this is also a Mark 1.5 clone of the Vox made Italian uh, tone benders from the 60s and start off with the Sunbender <laughs>
That was the single coil. Here's the humbucker and bridge. Show some volume roll off now. Uh, this one cleans up a little bit better with the guitar's volume. This one adds uh, a bit more treble when you turn your guitar's volume down too. Back to the single coil in the neck. And that whole time, this had the fat, sorry, I can't talk. That whole time, this had the fat switch turned on. It's got, like, a, a Vox setting like the original, and then you switch it, and it's, like, adds in a capacitor, it puts a, a higher value capacitor there. And, uh, so when you turn that off, it's a bit more trebly. I'll show you that. So with that switch off, this is way brighter than this one, and then with it on, it's got a little bit more low end than this, so this kind of sits at like an in-between as far as the tone goes. This also sounds a little bit raspier when it's in the Vox setting, so it sounds more, I guess, like an original is supposed to. Mm -hmm. 